Damn! <laughs> All right, what's up, guys? This scooter is completely done. I'm gonna explain what I did. Um, a couple different reasons why I did some of the stuff that I did here. Uh, with that being said, I'm just waiting on the seat cover. Then we're gonna give it a good clean and wash, and this one's ready to rip, Chip. Um, this one will be selling for 800, roughly. Um, after I clean it, obviously, because it is very dirty. <laughs> With that being said, um, this one I did some work to. Sorry, lock the seat here. Let me unlock the seat. There we go. Um, kind of want to explain what I got going on here. So this fuel tank had failed, and I noticed that the plastics were already very brittle, so I didn't want to remove this gas tank uh, due to the failure. So what I decided to do was buy one of these uh, $18 fuel tanks. Um, off of Amazon so it's 18 bucks and then you have to install the little fuel reservoir yourself I'm gonna show you how I connected it we're not gonna I'm not gonna show you on this scooter but what I am gonna do is find my flashlight here and give you an idea of what's going on down below and then I'll show you on that scooter exactly how I did this so this is a much larger gas tank that came in it these are $18 and they work great they have a little breather on the top um, basically you'll be converting the scooter to a gravity fed system instead of a petcock vacuum driven system if i can show you what's going on here let me take off the gopro get this off my head here so you guys have a good idea of what's going on I'll try to keep this away so you can see i have a quick quick connect lead down there and then i drilled a little hole in the top of the uh on the, i'm sorry on the side of the uh carburetor um lift or or you know it's the it's the door that uh hides the carburetor for adjustment and um, as you can see I already have fuel in here runs fine no issues so let me take you over to this scooter kind of give you an idea of what I did here so I'm gonna put you back on my head real quick guys give me one sec okay so if you wanted to do what I did here I'm gonna try not to move my head very much at all um, you'll be eliminating the petcock fuel system which is this piece right over here. If you guys can see that, I'm hoping my flashlight's not blowing all this out. I'm trying not to use it to point directly at the object. So that would alleviate basically any of these vacuum lines. So you would be able to cut these vacuum lines, this one and this one, and plug them with a nail or a screw or get a vacuum cap. If you wanna order some vacuum caps, you can do that. I find a nail or screw works just fine. And then all you're doing is taking your main fuel line that's on here and you're routing it up underneath the scooter seat and then you're just plugging it right directly into that gas tank and now it's a gravity fed system so it just you completely cut out needing any of this extra stuff on here which actually in my opinion works better than these petcock fuel systems do so that's it you'll just be plugging any vacuum lines that are coming off the main carb area so it's actually really really simple so all i have done right now on this one so this would be plugged into the bottom of the carb and then this gets plugged into that petcock fuel system you would just be unplugging it right here disconnecting both vacuum lines plugging these two and then just directly running the main fuel line that goes on the bottom of the carb here out drill a little hole in the side of the carburetor adjustment put bay out of that and then plugged right into the gas tank if you want to you can add a fuel switch cut off you can do whatever you want but that uh, allows you to make a much larger uh, gas tank for your scooter for longer travels so normally the gas tanks that come in these scooters are only one gallon so this is definitely considerably larger than the one gallon um, this is a two gallon tank cost $18 on Amazon um, you just have to install that little port there on the side and to do that basically you just drill a hole screw it in take a pair of needle nose uh, why sh let's see I'll show you angle needle nose these ones so you can fit down in there and then you hold the stem in place while you put the screw on with the with the um, o-rings that way the gas can't leak out and then you tighten it down until it's nice and tight and then you're good to go so you can choose where you want to install so let's say you wanted the gas port on this side well then you can install it on the back side whatever your scooter setup is that's why it's nice to be able to order these ones that do this because you can install it yourself you just have to have needle nose you know and it's gonna have to be installed on one of these sides because unfortunately your needle nose has to be able to go in the container to hold the, you know, 
nozzle in place. But other than that, works great. Flawless little system. That's how you add an upgraded gas tank for longer travels. And the nice thing is you still get storage space. So you're still getting your storage space. Um, the heat will not affect the gas tank, obviously, because it's in the plastics. So it'd be no different than putting any of your waters or anything else that you have in here. However, if you are going to do it this way, I would keep some water in here, at least a bottle of water. Um, that way, if you have to douse anything, you can. I'm not saying you will, but the option is there if you need it. So you still have a little bit of storage space. Um, if you want to, you can put locking Velcro underneath this and lock it down to the top of that cap so this doesn't move at all. That way, if you really want it in place, I have it so that it's a little bit adjustable, but there's enough cable that no matter what I do, it's not going to affect or bend or you know, do anything to that cable. So if I need to move it out of the way to have a little more storage room, I can. Um, but it's always at a lean going this way. So it's always forcing the gas in one direction. So good little system. Just thought I'd show that to you guys. That is how you can do an upgrade gas tank on a scooter if you really want to and make it gravity fed. It's quite easy. Um, I do it when I think that it's I do this kind of stuff when I think that it's going to affect the scooter in a negative way by me removing plastics. As you can see, these are already brittle and broken. The worst thing I could possibly do is try to take them off. They would never go back on correctly again. And this allows you just to see how much gas you have. Just open the seat. You can still lock it so nobody can steal your gas. It's easy. Get to the pump, open your seat, unscrew the cap, fill it up. You can see your fill line. You can see when you're getting low, when you're getting empty. I mean, it's a very simple setup. So. You can go twice the distance the scooter was designed for by running this gas tank. So instead of filling up once a week, you can fill up every two weeks by running this system. You should get, let's see, these things get roughly 80 to 100 miles to the gallon, two gallon tank. You're looking at 100 and what, like 160, 180 miles per tank. That's pretty good. So two gallons of gas, upgraded fuel tank, good to go. Send it, you know? So anyways, that's it. That's it for my fix shit. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys like what I do. You like kind of seeing this cool stuff. And, um, you know, every once in a while I'll show you how to modify these things to make them work for you instead of against you. That's what we do here. I show you how not to take your scooter to a shop. That is the ideal situation. Now, this hasn't started since yesterday, so I'm going to try to fire this up. Hopefully things go smoothly. It hasn't run since yesterday. But uh, let's see if we can get her going. It's almost time for a new Bendix clutch. I can hear that Bendix clutch is bad, but there you go. She fired right up. She's in her warm-up process right now. Once she gets through her warm-up process, that back tire will start slowing down. Should be able to see that here in a sec. It's already starting. There it goes. Your scooter's now warmed up and ready to go. I can hear that Bendix clutch, so it sounds a little rough, man. It might be time to place that Bendix. For those of you guys wondering what that is, it's a starter clutch gear. This is a Bendix clutch. So when you activate that switch, it throws this out, which makes contact, makes contact with the, you know, uh, damn, I can't even think of the name of it right now. <laughs> oh well, it makes contact with the starter gear and then obviously turns the engine over. So when you push that little magnet throw out, based on RPM, kicks out, turns it over, and then when you let off the starter, it relieves the pressure and goes back in. That's how it starts. It, anyways, that's a that's that's an easy way to do it. So there you go. It's a $150 scooter. I'm gonna throw a uh, seat cover on it and uh, give it a paint job and or a wash at least. And now we got a $800 scooter. That's it. I fix shit. Catch you guys on the flip. Don't forget to subscribe to learn more cool shit that happens here at my shop. Later, dudes. Are you sure this is okay? You're in country, dude. Live a little. Now she's pretty sensitive, so go easy on the throttle, okay? All right.